did you ever feel that you were a part of something that was was so historic? No. Only when I signed my contract here was I felt like I was part of something. <laughs> but Jerry was talking. I could tell that story. Okay. Now, let me answer this and then you can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Daddy and I were talking when he was a rookie and I was just telling the story in the other room and uh, Donnie signed for about 450000 when I was making about twenty, And I had been there about two years and had been all pro four or five times. And, uh, so uh, I said to him one day, we're chatting, and I'm, he's, got, he's got a great attitude. He and Jimmy Grabowski had a great attitude, and they were accepted into the team, and that, everybody forgot about the 450000 except Edgy. <laughs> Nishki never forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm asking Donnie one day, I said, how did you, uh, how did you end up with that kind of a contract? Well, he said it wasn't that tough, Jerry. I was drafted by Houston in the AFL, and I'd go to Houston, and they'd offer me something, and I'd go to Green Bay, and they'd match it, and I'd go back to Houston, and they'd up it, and I'd go to Green Bay, and they'd match it, and he said, I want to get an insurance agency for my dad, and I want a car for my mom, and I want a car, and Pretty soon, I couldn't think of anything else to ask for. <laughs> I said, yeah, it was the same way with me. I got $250 bonus. <laughs> but anyway. That's part of the history that my life has been part of the great love of the Packers and their friends. Is that, to me, the question, the Lombardi team of winning three championships started pro football's history as we know it today and they call it modern day football. So everybody wanted to be like the Packers. Everybody wanted to win, be the champions, and then the Super Bowl became, the first Super Bowl became that part of the second championship with Joe and Lewis. And then the second Super Bowl. So then everybody in the whole league, the AFL as we know it, and the NFL, wanted to be like the Green Bay Packers. That's my feeling. That, that started the whole history. And unfortunately, I live in Dallas, Texas. I get to hear about the Dallas Cowboys every day. But I think that's the history that built, and then obviously you go into the next decade, and the next decade you talk about the Cowboys, or you talk about the Steelers and the Miami Dolphins. And so I think the Packers started the modern day history of being the football team, the franchise, and obviously they've lived up to it. I think continuously, at least in the last few years, ten years. Some guy played here. What's his name? Uh, number four. Brett the four guy. Yeah, yeah, Brett. Yeah. 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 Morning. I think he had a lot to do with that. Number four was here with number five a couple years ago. They were standing together, and Morning looked at Brett and said, "Brett, you know why there's so many number fours out here?" There were like number fours all through the audience. And Brett said, No, Paul, why is that? Paul said, They run out of number five. <laughs> <laughs>